Oh yeah, cleaning agent. Agent is plus two for Christ. Like it's a liquid agent. Um, we got called a um, solvent and agent are both Christ as well. Well, that comes to mind. Why don't we just 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 to be a little more thorough here? I like going deep. Laser. Okay, so you have it, you call it solvent, or you can call it an agent. Okay. Um, well, both parallel Christ. This is thirty points higher than Christ. A solvent. Um, and this is 30 points less than Christ. Oh my gosh! We just got like the biggest gem of all time. Like, biggest terms in chemistry and, and liquids ever. Like, the puzzle is being cemented, folks. Look at this. Both end in the same letters. There's three plus twos, there's a, and then there's two plus ones, which perfectly balances what God ordained in the letters Christ, where the number of plus twos outdoes the number of plus ones by one exactly. And if there be any additional letters, as in solvent, they all divide by three, just like Christ. Wow, we've just solved every solvent and every agent to the glory of Christ. And it's disturbing. Like, it's, it's disturbingly perfect because solvent is plus 30 over Christ and agent is minus 30 from Christ. Are you now understanding that Christ is at the center of everything in the universe using gematria, using numbers? That is amazing. Wow. So when you look at a cleaning product, the liquid is what you call the solvent, also known as the agent, um, like the cleansing agent or the chemical agent, chemical solvent. Um, well, shut my mouth and call me a genius. That was okay. So solvent is, yeah, 107 plus 30 over the 77 of Christ and agent is 47. <laughs> I'm so proud of this. We got to write this down in a nice equals Christ plus 30 agent equals like this is such Eureka material I insist on taking a few moments to be a, an accountant here and make it look as pretty as reasonably so given our time and trying to get flawless justification in, in word is not always quickly done, but we can do our best. Just tidy that down. There. There you go. There's a fantastic set of accurate letters for the Christ. Okay. So, <laughs> solvent is Christ plus 30. Agent is Christ minus 30 for the glory of the Trinity. But the letter for letter design of these words is flawless to parallel the letter for letter construction of the word Christ. Mr. Clean is really giving it to the Christ. Like, this is really um, loaded. What else comes to your mind? Oh, now they're partnering with... Is Mr. Clean, is, is that a Procter & Gamble? It must be. It must be, because they're partnering with Game. Um, Mr. Clean is, of course... Yeah, of course he's Procter & Gamble. That was how I got onto him. Yeah, of course he's Procter & Gamble. He's probably one of the most famous... Of course. So... Um, and we solved Procter and Gamble this morning. And gain is plus one for the father. Interesting. So now they're knitting together father plus Christ, clean plus clean plus gain. Um, crazy. Now, interestingly, the word detergent is also Christ. Yes, sir. E plus twenty one. Um, Okay, I think we hit that one out of the park. Really good. Well, Mr. Clean. And of course, he always has his arms crossed, and the word cross equals Jesus, equals Messiah. Um... I love that. Why don't we solve another gem? Like, I love solving everything. When you talk about arms crossed, well, who's glorified by that? By that? Well, clearly the cross equals Jesus, equals um, Messiah, um, equals Gematria, by the way, the great 74. And then arms and ED just add more threes to the party to maintain the offset. In fact, it, it adds, that adds 60 in six letters, so it's obvious. Um, arms crossed points to Jesus. <laughs> Once again, it's Jesus plus 60. Arms crossed. So, who has arms crossed? Well, clearly Mr. Clean. Clearly Mr. Clean, Mr. Christ. 
<laughs> oh, man. This is getting good. And we solved the color white. Okay, I think we did a good job on Mr. Clean. Um, there you go. Wow. And now they're combining Mr. Clean with Gain. Gain is plus one. I don't want to spend too much more time on this, but I do know that Clean plus Gain is going to be a Christ Father combo. And it adds to 66 no less. It's always an obvious three fest in nine letters, ninth prime stroke. Um, anywho, I, I humor saw the, the history there. Mr. Clean. All purpose cleaner. There you go. Okay, so we <laughs> we really went deep there on Mr. Clean. Um, and that uh, took us a long time. But that is one of their, like, that's one of the most famous brands in cleaning that there is. I mean, it's Mr. Clean, for goodness sakes. And then we got to solve Windex, and um, Daz is a nice plus one for Father. Um, but um, I'm curious about, uh, I just want to get a few more gems on Windex and how big Windex is, because that was fun solving Windex for Father. Oh, look how old it is. Since 1933. Wow, so here we are. How many years later? 67 plus 16, 83 years later. 83 years later, folks. Introduced 1933. Here we are, 83 years later, solving Windex for the glory of the Father. Wow. Windex is even older than Mr. Clean. Windex. The original Windex formula came in a metal can. Um, also known as a canister, I like to preach. Um, canister is a gorgeous set of letters for father, but there's, so it's glass cleaner. And I believe glass equals father. And then cleaner equals father. Oh, we're hitting a real big gem when we hit Windex now. And I've always said, I'm not joking, folks. I'm not making this up. Um, at least in the past several years of my life, I was saying to myself, there's no other cleaner that I've ever needed except Windex. And it's basically true from what I've encountered. Now, there's certain things that specialize in, in different types of grease, of course. And Mr. Clean has, I'm, I'm, I'm not a cleaner by profession, so I wouldn't really know. Um, what the best thing is in any in every situation, but um, Kleenex or Windex has been around for 83 years, and it's flawless in its design for father. But what is really mind blowing to me is that Windex is a glass cleaner, and glass equals cleaner equals father. If I remember, glass equals father, and cleaner equals father. Now it's really hitting home to you. Glass equals father, and cleaner equals father. And Windex parallels father. I'm like, I need some Windex right now, and I need to clean every piece of glass that I can get my hands on. Like, can you imagine what this revelation and this teaching would do to our young children in schools if they were taught this? They'd be so excited about the perfection of Windex, they'd be like, I want to clean all the glass. And our entire world would be cleaner because people are told the truth and they know that God the Father loves cleanliness and he loves Windex and he loves glass cleaner, period. But I have never seen this until now. Current date and time for historic purposes, as always, is right there. I have never seen this with my eyes until now. Glass equals 58 equals father and cleaner equals the same thing. Now, this reminds me of the famous invention in the science lab known as the microscope, where micro equals 58 and scope equals 58 equals father. Okay, so the same father god of the microscope is the same father god of all glass cleaner. Glass equals cleaner equals father. You heard it here first, folks. And you saw it here first, too. There it is. Let's get a zoom, take a photo of that. That is for the record books, folks. First time seen by mankind. Glass equals father and cleaner equals father. And Windex flawlessly parallels father. And looking at the data from the history books, here's, here's a vintage shot of Windex and it says glass cleaner. 
right underneath it in large black letters. Wow. And see, that's why you go to the past. You go to the roots. You go to the originals to get the best. Uh, now, now we're going to, like, ammonia D. What is that solve going to reveal? Ammonia D is plus one for father. And it's very beautiful because it's got a ton of plus ones. Starts and ends with plus one. And it's the final D that makes it plus one because ammonia divides by three. And um, D, first initial of my name, Derek, is plus one for father. In fact, that's the mechanism by which my name, Derek, is plus one, basically. With ammonia D, sparkling glass, dozens of uses. So let's solve the ammonia D because that's clearly the key ingredient. I'm sorry if this zoom is not always optimal, but um, at least you can hear what I'm saying. Um, this is so cool. I love solving everything because the word sparkling is plus two for Christ. Put it together with father. Sparkling glass is going to be a Christ father combo. Um, but let's solve the obvious ammonia D because okay, that was the key ingredient of Windex. So let's see what that is. That is huge. Like, let's put that in nice gold. <laughs> and I'm not joking, I've been saying that Windex is like the only cleaner I've ever needed. Um, so, and then we'll, we'll, we'll do a brief look at these letters. We already did that and, and how they, what God ordained for them to, you know, align with the letters of Father and how that all came to be. Um, like the A, E, and cleaner is irresistible. Um, the G at the front of glass equals the F, A at the front of father. An S is equal to uh, an R plus an A. An A plus an S equals a T. Um, cleaner we went in detail already, and it's, it's pretty simple for, for you to do. Glass cleaner. <laughs> oh, man. And um, I'm just checking to see if you can pop the 21 off of... Uh, Windex, I don't think you can, and that's fine. Yeah, no, you cannot. Um, um, no, you cannot. That's fine. Okay. Um, man, that's incredible. And I'm noticing more details now in the similarity. Permit me to pause on Father and Windex. The D differs from an A by three points, exactly, and E equals an E. And, and a T differs from a W by three points in the same direction. And then an H differs from an N by six points. Um, in every instance you've gone up, T went up three points there. H went up six points there. It's all for the Trinity, okay? So T went up three points to the W. H went up three points, six points to the N. E equals the E. Gorgeous Trinity experience there. An F differs from an I, uh, went up three points to the I. Um, an A went up three points to the D, and an R went up six points to the X. That's amazing. So everything between father to Windex went up in perfect multiples of three, letter for letter, so that Windex was always, you know, having higher values than the letters of father. So for the overall value of 21, that is a miracle. And Windex is one of the biggest cleaning agents in the history of the universe, and it's been around for 83 years. I sit here, October 12th, 2016, 83 years after 1933, when Windex, excuse my zoom levels, first came onto this world stage. Amazing, okay, by God's sovereignty. So, that, this is a precious gem. We're going to solve ammonia D in a second, but allow us to, to, to meditate, to really let that sink in. The, the, the perfect correlation between uh, the letters of Father and the letters of Windex. So I'll just write out the offsets as, as I saw them. So the F went up to the I, three points. The A went up to the D, three points. The T went up to the W, three points. The H went up to the N, six points. The E equals an E, zero points. And then the R went up to the X, six points, to make the grand total of 21, so that Windex equals Father plus 21 to the glory of the Trinity. That is amazing. <laughs> and that is what you call brilliant brand de design. <laughs> Foreordained by heaven for the glory of God the Father, in perfect accuracy. Now you're all going to run out there and buy a bunch of Windex and clean the glass. And the kids are going to be excited to clean the glass. And they're going to be like, this is awesome. Because they know it's awesome now. So, 
That's incredible. Like the first three letters, up three with their corresponding letter in order. An F went up three points to an I. An A went up three points to a D. And then a T went up three points to a W. And then an H went up six points to an N, and E equals an E. And then R went up six points to an X. So Windex was, you know, plus, plus, plus every time for the grand offset of 21. Windex equals father plus 21. I just solved Windex! And it's an 83-year-old brand. I feel like the Hallelujah Chorus should be playing or something. Okay, so let's solve Ammonia D because that apparently is the key ingredient in Windex that has made it the success um, that it is. So we already got the, the juice that it's plus one for father, just like Windex and glass and cleaner. Now, let's do, let's do the obvious thing. Let's put together this triple plus one, father, 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 glory fest, Windex, glass cleaner, and just see what the three fest is um, for the Trinity at large. It's going to be beautiful. Um, 204. But the best part is, this is going to blow your mind. So window, glass, or wait a second. Well, it just occurred to me that the word window is flawless in its design for Windex. Or for, and for father. And that's why Win, Windex is called Windex, is because of the word window. But I didn't make that connection until now. Well, thank God for the sovereignty, because that is really awesome. So now we're solving. Okay, and, and door is plus one for father, like God, the father owns the doors and the windows in, in every house. Um, uh, how you get in and how you get out and look in and look out. Um, that's, well, that was a surprise gem because I, I meant to write Windex class cleaner, but I ended up writing window glass cleaner and I was shocked by what I saw. So let's, let's milk all this glory. So window glass cleaner, of course, divides by three in a father, father, triple, father, 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 triple. It equals 204, of course, divides by three, but this is the best part. In, and everything divides by three. In three words, 18 letters, 45 strokes. <laughs> Perfectly. So not only have we solved Windex, but we've solved every single window glass cleaner in the history of the universe and in the coming history of the universe to the glory of the Trinity. So everything divides by three. Window, glass, cleaner. Grand total, number of words, number of letters, and number of strokes. So now we get to solve Windex glass cleaner. Uh, Wow, there's, there's hopscotch interleave of threes. I, I should show you a brief shot of this calculator and what I see when I look at this calculator. Okay, Basically what I talk about is what's the most important. But um, And so uh, Windex is, is nine points less than a window. And it's not, well, whatever, 19 words. Still 18 letters, of course. 46 strokes, one stroke higher. 46, 46 is a double of 23, which is the ninth prime. There's a lot of three glorification that comes out of it. Okay. Uh, but that was absolutely awesome. Oh, this document is not saved? Oh, well, I'll just save it whenever, wherever for now, just so it's saved. Okay. Well, that was huge. Um, and so, we've done it in previous video. We solved the word window. Like, window is crazy for father. Um, because it's 30 points higher, exactly. And it's accomplished in letters and strokes that divide by three. Window is six letters, 15 strokes. Father is six letters, 18 strokes. So it's pretty obvious how God the Father is glorified in every single window in the entire universe, you know, from all the stained glass windows in every cathedral to the windows in this house right here. So, um, But window, of course, parallels Windex, and that's why they called it Windex. Um, but God is sovereign over that. And so then you can marvel. Of course, it begins with the word win, which everyone loves. Win, parallels father. Oh, we win. We won. Father, father, plus one. Um, and then this is pure threes on the end. In fact, it equals 33 in the case of Windex. In here, it equals 42. Um, but uh, identical in their design, we have the three plus twos. And uh, two letters divided by three, and then the single plus one is the D. So with that on the table, now it's very cool that we get to solve ammonia D because it's the D on the end that ultimately makes it the plus one, just like the D in window and the D in Windex. Okay. So with that laid before us, um, in all very obvious glaringness for the father, allow me to do this. That's the beauty of video. You can speed me up, edit me, cut me down, whatever. Um, so. Very, very beautiful. Um, now, I wonder what, this, what the letters from Father window would be. Plus three, plus three, plus three, plus six. And then in this case, the R goes down three to the O, and the E goes up 
18 to the W. Okay, now, but I want to solve ammonia D. Um, what is it? Oh my gosh, it's a multiple of 6, and I knew that was coming. It equals 70, um, which is plus 12 from father. Okay, father plus 12. Gorgeous. And I, I was hoping it was going to be an even number, and it was. And, and now, the, the thing that's so obvious about that is look at this uh, jar. Width is a very famous word that divides by 3. It equals 60, no less. And so now you just add more 6s to this whole glory pile. Remember, ammonia equals 66. <laughs> Pretty obvious, isn't it? Ammonia equals 66. Width equals 60. And then the D is what makes it brings it into plus two, 1 father at the end. And... Uh, so there's your grand grand offset for father. It's obvious. Ammonia equals 70 equals father plus 12. Okay. And then with ammonia D, you just keeps the party going. Um, and I, so cool. Um, and then the more you look, the more you see. Um, okay. Do a little breakdown there. Um, Hmm, what would I like to sort of compare? Well, oh, this is obvious to me. In ammonia, the two letters that divide by 3 equal the two letters that divide by 3 in father. We've seen that everywhere. That's very obvious. Um, and then you can point out an equivalence, like an M equals an HE if you wanted to. I would mention that the an E parallels an N. Um, and then an A, of course, is an A. Um, but you could point out equivalence. Um, yeah, you can point out equivalence. Why don't I just point out a few equivalences that I can do? You can you can study more and get more of it. Um, but you know this this will equal a T, and then the final difference between an A and an M is twelve points exactly. So, um, but this this was very obvious to me that the letters that divide by three in father equal letters that divide by three in, in uh, ammonia, which there are two, and they go up in threes like six, nine, fifteen, eighteen. Um, Oh man, I, I, I would do another painting. I insist. That's the beauty of video. It's like, why not go in detail? Because it's on video. People can slow it down, speed it up. Um, allow me to do this cool thing. I like this fact that this, um, this AD on the end ends up equaling the E right there. And then so what is uh, left here in green is going to... Um, Oh, excuse me, I didn't need the, the last part. This is supposed to be gold. An A plus a D equals an E. An A is an A. Um, and then what's here in green? Oh, man, that equals 55. Almost father, like bang on the nose. It's fun to check the end, see if father put his name on the end or something like that. This happens all the time. Can you pop off the 12? No. Um, okay. So we hit that one pretty good. All right, so we solved ammonia D in the name of the father. Um, there you go, so Windex. Sparkling glass, dozens of uses. <laughs> Sparkling glass. Won't take much longer. Glass is father, sparkling is Christ. Sparkling is 30 points higher than Christ. Very obvious, so put the two together and you get this gorgeous. It's always beautiful when you put father and Christ together. So you get this gorgeous hopscotch. You get two patterns in there, which is mind-blowing. Um, you get the six days of creation pattern and the hopscotch effect with quarters teams divided by three. Very glaring. Okay. Sparkling glass. Father gets the last word. Sparkling is Christ. Okay. Glass equals father. Uh, sparkling is 30 points on top of Christ. And this is very glaring because that 30 points is the ending, the, the ING. So spark, sparkle. Okay. Spark, sparkle is, is Christ. Okay. This equals Christ. Okay. And remember, glass equals father. It's very obvious. Very, very pure, very simple, isn't it? Okay. That's the root of the word. And then, in English, all the endings on top of that always divide by three, so it maintains offsets for Christ. So anything that sparkles glorifies Christ. Because you can't say the word sparkles, like I just did, without saying Christ first. And then if you add ES, that divides by three. It maintains offsets. If you say sparkled, sparkles, sparkling, sparklers... Well, you have to say sparkle, <laughs> which equals Christ. Okay, and in its design, these letters actually flawlessly parallel Jesus with the three plus ones, the one plus two, and the rest of the letters divide by three. 
Okay, so anything that sparkles and anything that is sparkling, Christ, Jesus, okay? And then glass equals Father. So if you use Windex to get sparkling glass, that you should, to the glory of the Trinity, okay? Glass equals Father, and uh, you'll be singing your head off. Done. All right, so let's get back into, um, man, where is the, um, so we were in, oh, we were in the Wikipedia page, and I couldn't resist jumping to the visual. So now that we've solved Windex, let's just reward ourselves with a little bit of the story behind this. Because this is 83 years old. Um, <laughs> streak free shine. Well, shine is plus one. Free is plus one. And streak, oh, you're going to love this. Streak free shine. If that's still the motto, you're going to love this one for father. Streak free shine. I, I got the word shine the other day in the sunshine because shine is shine is flawless and it's designed for father and it's three three points less. Um, and then this is a Christ Father combo in streak free. It equals double love perfectly. Okay, whenever you see a Christ double love perfectly and then shine is glorious for father. So all together it's a plus one father offset. Streak free shine and father gets the last word just like he got the last word glass. Streak free shine. Um, <laughs> Incidentally, the word polish and varnish are both plus one for father. You know, you polish something until it shines. Um, that was awesome. I knew it was going to be a gorgeous... Okay, so we solved the motto. That's what's written, folks. There it is, streak free shine. All right, uh, Windex is the brand name of glass and hard surface cleaner. Um, oh yeah, surface is plus one, just like glass, just like hard. So surface cleaner, manufactured since 1933. Uh, S.C. Johnson in 1993 acquired, oh, since, oh, so was acquired and has been manufactured since the product was reformulated in 2006. Oh, really? So who is it invented by? Harry, Mr. Plus One himself. Even the year is plus one, and the year that my town, Langley, was uh, incorporated uh, is plus one as well, Langley. Um... And that was a revelation from the Lord. Langley is plus one for father. So this is 1933 by Harry plus one. It was almost 100% solvent. We solved solvent in this video uh, for Christ. Or for father. Yeah, for Christ. It was almost and highly flammable. It had to be sold in metal cans. Oh, yeah. Cans, plural, father. I'm just going to try and read a bit more now. Oh, so it was originally colored blue, as it should be. Blue is plus one for father. In 1989, Windex was a 5% ammonia solution. In 1989, so that kind of changed. Interesting. And so we solved every window, every cleaner, and every glass, and all glass, and every cleaner. All those are plus one for father. Window cleaner, glass cleaner. Windex. Since 1933. Well, that'll inspire the kids to clean up forever, see Johnson. Hmm. You can solve the roots of this company and who Samuel Curtis Johnson. Well, that's um pretty good for me right now. Really? Huh. That's crazy. Because this man, Philip Drackett, is like pure plus one, is glaring for father. Drackett, plus one. Even a lot of their products were plus one. And people forget that even though the com companies have come and gone, they contribute so much to the growth of all the industry, like Windex. A lot of these are plus one words. Windex, Vanish, Drano. Um, I don't know if these products are still around or not. 
behold is a famous plus one word. Drano. Drain cleaner product manufactured. Drainer, Drano is a fun one for father. It's been around since 1923. It was also, yeah, it was invented by Harry. Plus one. Dracket plus one. It's still available. Drano is alive and well. <laughs> Apparently we are solving, and, and this is amazing because drain, just like glass, is glaring for father. It's 12 points less. Drain cleaner. There, we just solved your drain. Plumbing is also plus one for father. And Drano, these are like some of the most like glaring offsets from father of all time. <laughs> well, there's your Drano. Solve Drano today. Um, vanish. Toilet bowl cleaner. That's another plus one. I don't know. I don't know how. Yeah, it's still alive and well. Um, Drano is still alive and well. Clears total Brock. Drano. <laughs> Drano. Oh boy. Drano. Drano and Windex. Drano for your plumbing. Drano for your drain, Windex for your glass, like, you know, allow me to state the obvious. The word plum and plumbing are plus one for father. Um, very glaring, too, because the root is 64, offset of six from father, and then the ing adds another multiple of six, so plumbing is father, plus 36. So thank the father for your plumbing. And then the drain, your drain is father, minus 12, offset. And then Drano was just a piece of brilliance on the word drain because what they did is they just swapped an I to an O which differed by six. Now this is the sovereignty of God, okay? So this is you're gonna blow your mind how Drano was just genius for every drain in the history of the universe. They just changed an I to an O, thereby the offset from father shifted six, which is prime for the Trinity, so there you go. So a drain went to Drano, went from, went from, allow me to get these numbers so you start memorizing these things, went from 46 to 52 in the name of the Father, yielding an offset of minus 12 and minus six respectively, so the Trinity is glorified well. So you put Drano in your drain to the glory of the Father, which is called plumbing to some degree, and there you go, okay, so we solve Drano, I like, don't you love fun brand names? Like Drano. <laughs> now, you wouldn't need Drano if you didn't have a block, would you? So block is plus one. I love preaching on the sovereignty of God. Like, first you have a block, then you have a Drano. Okay. I love preaching on God's sovereignty. It's like God uses everything to bring people together. It's like we wouldn't have these products if we didn't have problems. Well, God gives us problems, so we come together and work together. Okay. Um... Drano has been solved tidily. Okay, <laughs> that was fun. It's been around since... And I like solving who it was invented by, like Harry, plus one for father, he equals 70. Just like Dracket. His first and last name are just hitting it out of the park. Well, we are actively solving cleaning products today. By the way, the word plunge, which is the root of plunger, just like the word plum. So you have, so when you do plumbing, one of your most important ingredients is the plunger. Well, the roots of plumbing and plunge are um, identical in their design for father. Okay, so we're solving all plumbers and all plunging and all toilet plungers and plumbing pl devices right now in the name of the father. You take the root, you take the the whole thing, and then all the offsets of sixes. So this is, so plum is father plus six, and then plumbing will go higher, and then plunge is father plus 12. Okay, so, so grab your plumber in the name of the father, grab your plunger in the name of the father, worship God the father, and uh, know that this is the name of all, of all names, father. There you go, get your plunge on, get your plumb on. And that's so cool because the PLU provides the all, okay. And then, oh yeah, amazing. MB, if it's by six, 